Welcome to the Endocrine Division at Indiana University. I'm Michael Econs. I've been the Endocrine Division Chief. Um, I want to tell you a little bit about our division. It is a very large division by endocrine standards with over 25 faculty. We have a, a faculty that has a very diverse group of interests, including a metabolic bone disease, diabetes, thyroid disease, pituitary, and all areas of endocrinology. I'm Amal Latif, the Program Director for Endocrinology Fellowship. Thank you for checking out our program. I'm confident that we will prepare you very well, whether you're um, heading to a clinical career or an academic career. This is due to the large, uh, high-caliber teaching faculty, uh, to the uh, tremendous clinical exposure you will get and the various research opportunity that Indiana University offers. I'm Dr. Melissa Cavigan. I've been here at IU for about 20 years, and I'm the clinical director, so of our clinical operations. And just to say a few things about the breadth of our experience, we have, I think, nine locations, so several clinics around the city, and then also the VA in Eskenazi, which is our county hospital. So we have a huge variety of ambulatory venues. Um, we have 16 clinical faculty currently. Seven of our clinical faculty are our previous fellows, so we're really fortunate to have wonderful um, trainees that we've been able to recruit to the faculty and keep um, to help with the next generation of fellowship training. Teaching is by far um, and kind of the, one of the main reasons that I stayed in kind of an academic center, and I, I love that concept of working with kind of a group of different learners all at different levels. So, you know, on our inpatient service, we often have a not only a fellow, of course, but a resident and a medical student as well. And I think that's just such a, a great environment um, in which to learn and in which to teach. My name is Eric Immel, and I completed a dual fellowship training in both adult endocrinology and pediatric endocrinology here at IU in 2007. My own time in fellowship here um, really opened my eyes to the possibility of doing research and to the uh, fun of doing research, uh, ultimately leading me to pursue a, my own uh, academic research career in bone and mineral metabolism. My name is Dr. Diane Donegan. I'm an assistant professor of clinical medicine at Indiana University and Indiana University Health. I have a special interest in anything to do with the pituitary or anything that's located near the pituitary. I'm, my clinic is conveniently located in the Neuroscience Building. Uh, there are multiple different specialties located in this building which facilitates patient care, but also will contribute to any educator's learning experience. Neurosurgery is present, neuroophthalmology is present, psychiatry together with neuroradiology and imaging is also all in the one building, making it very convenient. With that, there's also a lot of opportunity for research. All in the one building makes it much easier to collaborate with individuals. My name is Kirtika Dreiraj. I'm one of the clinical faculty with the Indiana School of Medicine Department of Endocrinology. Uh, I have been a fellow here and now I'm a clinical faculty. My first exposure to the Department of Endocrinology was as a visiting resident um, where I was just so impressed by the diversity of exposure I had in just the initial four weeks of the rotation. One of the things I found really unique when I came to IU about 20 years ago was that all of the, uh, we're, we're the referral center for the state, so all of the patients come to our door. And we always have a tremendous variety of emergencies and complex patients that are wonderful from an educational standpoint and also just interesting for those of us who have been here for 20 years and still find all of this really challenging and interesting. So I think that that is a really unique thing about our fellowship. In the clinical arena, we have four large hospitals where our fellows rotate. Methodist Hospital, a large 800-bed tertiary and community hospital. Indiana University, University Hospital, a 400 tertiary referral center for the state of Indiana. We have Eskenazi Hospital, a large county hospital that serves a large underserved population. And the Rodebush VA Hospital that offers endocrine consultation for the whole state of Indiana and parts of Illinois. I'm Dr. Zebaja Said, and I am a proud graduate of the Endocrinology Fellowship at Indiana University, class of 2019. As one of the endocrine faculty, I'm one of the key clinical educators within our division, and I'm also an associate clerkship director for the internal medicine clerkship for our med school. 
I've always been passionate about medical education and my training at IU really gave me the tools um, that I needed to become an effective educator and also make me prominent for all these roles. During your fellowship, you'll be taught by the best educators in the country. Moreover, if you're interested in education like I am, and that's your calling, we also have a clinician educator training pathway, which is unique to IU. Um, it is a program run by the Department of Internal Medicine uh, that you can enroll in that will give you the skills to become an effective educator. If you choose to come to IU, and we certainly hope you do, um, we will guide you to become a compassionate, outstanding endocrinologist who is a great educator and will help you get there where you want to be.